Eno ye Salam TV Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, Dear viewer, today is the 12th of uh, Muharram 1546 Corresponding to the 18th of July 2024 Welcome to the Al-Hidayah show that comes to you every Thursday where we look at the social system of Islam. We are looking at matters that we should take charge of or take note of as we are gearing or entering the marriage institution. The parents out there, the information that you should share with your children to the youth who are in the ages or the years of marriage, we hope that through this um, episodes that we are running currently you should be able to get information that should guide you in your marriage journey my name is muhammad sekalala uh, your host for the show and uh, to share with us this uh, discussion we always have hajat kacha mazaitun whom i'm going to request to say salam before we can start inshallah assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh wa alaikum assalam warahmatullahi mashallah uh, so viewer, last week where we ended, we were looking at the fact that uh, the parents are very important in the process of guiding us as we are embarking on the institution of marriage. But we noted also that as a person that has uh, uh, discovered or sought a marriage pattern out of the many, you are supposed to have some kind of conduct that should ensure that the parent comes in uh, if you're the lady at perhaps the later stage, if you're the man, you also ensure that your dealings with the parents of the bride to be uh, should be those that are very well cultivated and uh, well, well, very well managed. So today we want to, uh, last time where we ended, the man or the lady has presented the proposal to the parents and the papers or the proposal is before the parents we were saying what should be the kind of conduct that is expected of me the bridegroom to be the bride and then the parents in this discussion mm -hmm. uh, inshallah i'm going to invite uh, hajat to start us from there hajat mm -hmm. last time you said uh, oh wh when we were here we looked at the fact that the man has gone to the uh, singer or the auntie of the lady mm -hmm. and the uh, auntie has guided on writing at the letter Mm. and what is expected generally now we are before the parents what are first of all what are the do's that we should uh, take ah, note of before falling into the wrong side of mm. the proposal uh, yes alhamdulillah <laughs> uh, we are grateful to allah for the blessings and we pray that he gives us more we are grateful for the blessing of Islam no. because it guides us with all the tiny and tiny, tiny notes of, the, of life. We ended last week with a note of cautioning people who have come to the point of tying the knot. No. And now we are involving family. We caution that at this moment is not a time to go into sexual engagement. Mm. It does not mean that because you've seen my brother, you've seen my senga or any other family member mm. that we have now a right or we are married. Okay. And that is very, very key because we are breaking the pot <laughs> mm. at the doorstep. At the doorstep. Many step. people by the fall in this temptation. Mm. So we thought that it was important to to really, really nail I it like in. That. Yes, please. Now we are imagining that we have gone through the the culture and maybe the normal bounds the steps that every other person would take mm, and the, based on the different cultures uh -huh, we are coming from and the cultures yes. so now we are involving our parents officially no. uh, in buganda we are seeing our dad having received the letter mm. of the, the bridegroom to be okay. from the Senga, mm. we first and foremost would encourage our parents as well that it's not still the end. Okay. The parents should as well make some investigations. Oh, so yes, parents should yes. first make an investigation. Yes, they need they need to be to you know they need to be to make some checks. 
Because as these two people are getting uh, together, mm. and at this point, the excitement is at the highest. Yes, please. Yeah. So we, we request that if there is any note that has to be tied, okay. it's now the parents that have to really look into the important parts of especially the families that are going to mm. come together. So in case the parents can go ahead and ask a little about where this gentleman is coming from, okay. uh, who the parents are, mm. what, is, um, what is he doing? Okay. This is when some parents, which is uh, bold and encouraged sometimes, mm. they usually call the gentleman beforehand before okay. the ceremonies, before yes. agreeing into any, going into anything. Yes, please. The dad could call in for a casual meeting mm, with with the bridegroom with to the be the bridegroom to be mm. and the maybe one to be. yes the mm. son in law mm. or one one with one one stakeholder mm. in this gentleman's life it could mm -hmm. be the the counterpart the fellow dad or mm. the fellow parents because i remember me when i was getting married mm. uh, my husband had to meet he had to meet my parents and i remember it was done on the eve of the nikah on the eve of the nikah because it wasn't that too late mm, it's never too late never too late it's okay. really never mm. too late because at this point it's still the anything can can be turned can be turned down. we can turn around the whole thing yes. on the eve of the event okay so it is good for the dad or the parents of uh, of of this of these two people who are going to get married yes to meet informally but very very intentionally because mm. in the events as the nikah is going on as the introduction ceremonies and the receptions like we know are going on yes. there is no really close interaction between these two stakeholders okay. so we we one encourage investigation mm. so the parents so should also do a second some, line some, of some investigation yes. so that at least your daughter knows that it was important, important. to know where your your husband is coming from uh, for the baganda which is um it's not islamic to to not to marry in, uh, in uh, not to leave someone of your clan yes but for for because of culture that because for example me i'm from the mamba clan mm -hmm. uh, islam allows me to get married to my my clan met okay and buganda has also surpassed that because the mamba people get married to each other mm -hmm. but they are families that are very 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 sensitive when it comes to their um, you know clans and totems and what and totems, yes. so sometimes maybe the girl had not really thought about mm. uh whether the clan the gentleman is coming from so if they find out that you're coming from the same clan yes the parents will will tell you that but this this is your sister this is, this is your brother not, it's not proper <laughs> much as we uh you know because culture is also very important, important. it really affects like we've been saying okay. it really affects our relationship the so, other thing that I, I I wish mm, yes. that parents would do before the event okay. is to intentionally pray for their children. Intentionally pray for their children. You need to sit your daughter down in your bedroom and you touch her forehead and you pray for her. Mm. Pray for your son. Pray that Allah guides him. Pray that Allah really, you know, strengthens them and really makes them good for each other. And all the prayers that we can really get at this point. Okay. Pray for your gran grandchildren. Pray for your... Because now this is your heritage that is extended. That, that is extended. So you need to pray intentionally. Intentionally. Pray for your children. It would be even nice to, to pray a little earlier. Yes. Like every other time on our... Come here and I pray for you. Come here and I pray for you. Because I have acknowledged that... Marriage being um, um, a very important step in our life, yes. it has a number of challenges. Mm, challenges and yes. without prayer, it probably will be very, very difficult for many of us. Mm. So um, the parents who are sober at this point, please, mm -hmm. please pray for your, your, your children. Wow. And lastly, yes. we encourage um, the mothers to sit with your daughters. Mm. Talk to them, woman to woman. Don't scare them. Okay. Don't, you know, give them negativity. Don't give them bad news. But rather, give them solid guidance. Mm. Give them positive guidance that, my daughter, you are going into a very beautiful institution. Yes, this is yes. one of the, you know, these are the, uh, the, the things that I would wish you to have. Right. These are the things that have kept me with your father, especially okay. those who have, you know, given away their children mm. when they are still together. Mm. So yes. you share insight 
with experience because you are the closest person this person has. Mm -hmm. The rest of the people come in as secondary. Okay. But you as the mother, you as the father, sit your child down yes. and tell them that I have been with your mother still now when we are giving you mm -hmm. out. out. And these are the things that we think have helped us stay together and they've been able to, you know, we've been man we managed to raise you up and nurture you mm. and share the, the, challenges. Share the challenges. Because this is an adult, adult for adult. Share the challenges. Tell them that my daughter, please, if you can avoid, don't do this. Mm. If you can avoid, avoid this. Okay. If you, you know, this is heart to heart, heart, to heart. talk. Talk. So this really sobers, it sobers these uh, counterparts mm. because remember there's a lot of excitement. A lot of excitement there's yeah. a lot of fantasies written out there. People are thinking they're going into Jannah mm. and uh, they don't know that Jannah is fenced with uh, <laughs> a, lot of a, a lot of hooks and hooks bro and broken bottles. Mm. So I request that these these things are um, taken very carefully. By the parents. And maybe we could go to another thing. Okay, now before we go to another thing, mm. uh, I think there are two issues, though we might re uh, reply to only one for the start. Mm. Uh, in, in, in we are saying all this in the assumption that this mm. person uh, has got, uh, okay, they are, they are from the same clan, okay, same tribe, for example, mm -hmm. Mganda, Mganda. Mm. Uh, then what happens in the event that uh, a, a, a Mchori is coming to a, a Chiganda family mm. and the proposal is for their the parents mm. uh, and in such a case uh, the distance to the manza family is so great that mm. uh, even inviting the parents of the of, of what of, of, the, of, uh, of, the, of the son mm. the would be very difficult mm. so in such a case what should the two parents uh, do as a world <sighs> investigation or having a second line what of, I know yes. if you um, if you're looking for something you can never fail you can never fail yes. you really mm -hmm. will put in everything that it takes okay so if the distance is too far mm. Mm, because most of the time the people that we are talking about today yes they're coming from far off places but the many of them are maybe have yeah, met somebody themselves. left mm. guru to come mm. to Makerere to mm. study and the parents and, are and in guru they're still in guru yes and then uh, after the course mm. maybe fourth year he mm. develops interest in this Amugada um, Mm. They have uh, had the discussions and mm. the chemistry comes up and now the, the, the man has accepted mm. and the lady has also accepted and the letter is before daddy. Yes. The, the singer has guided but mm. now you say the second line of investigation, you mm. said should involve inviting the parents of Perhaps yeah, the investigation actually in this mm. the investigation is before the per you know the meet the meeting is mm, usually meeting, is yeah. usually even the final 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 it's, thing. it's like the we just we need to talk mm. as people who have accepted, who have accepted. our children to get married mm. it's like mm. most mm. of the, the the agreements and all the investigations have been mm. made but I want to believe that we have connections yes please I want to believe that we we can even do the, the, the crude investigation yes. of involving police or involving the sure, the even the police should get in. Yeah, I mean, oh because if it, has, if it is in Gulu, yeah. we could send somebody who is a, a oh professional wow. investigator. Please, we need information about this person. Ah, so that is being so, so particular and intentional. And intentional and sensitive and to the grain. Because marriage is a lifelong commitment. Mm. Marriage is a very important step in life. Oh. We oh. are building a community. We oh. are building a society. So mm. if these things, the more we, we, we really do this and we don't leave any stone unturned, mm. probably we shall get shall go to get the them. families that we really want. Okay, now, uh, now if you're in Gulu, yes. Uh, you probably have a brother who is working around, mm. you know, or you have someone who is connected to those mm. people. I'm just looking at the worst case scenario mm. where I came alone mm. from Guru, mm. and what brought me to Kampala is studying. studying? Mm. It's even my first time by there to set foot in Kampala. Mm. And after four years, I've you you have a, a boy to take to Guru, mm -hmm. mm. yeah. but but you know that today movement is very <laughs> is very easy. Yes, so Mama, do you know that from from Kampala, from Kampala to Guru, for example, yeah, it is around five hours. to six hours. Mm, five to six hours. And and if you're looking for something, we mm. go there for, we for money. There for, we for go money. there for. But if you are investigating on your child's you know issues that mm. are very important, mm -hmm. I think it is worth it. No, it can even. It be done for one day oh. or, of, or two days okay. and we are able to get the, the, the then uh, mm. there are also cases where this person seems to be i don't know whether i, sh I should call them uh lonely 
somebody is almost alone in their life. Either they lost them, um, keep members of their family, mm, and they have mm, hustled mm. their way to university. And uh, before you know, they have come to your door. And you so have fallen for them. Yeah, how do you deal and with you, 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 you I, I've struggled. I lost my parents, the key members of the family, very at a very tender age. But yes. now I've, I've grown of age. What do I do now? In now, case, there, are two, there are two scenarios. Mm, here. One, my, you, one can never compl be completely alone. Mm. That's, sure? that's for sure. And mm. At least there are some you know, relatives or extended, extended, extended power mm. of relatives. So wouldn't or this parent of the, of the girl be so harsh on me to bring people that I lost so many? We actually, we're discouraged. Mm. We remember when we were talking about yes. relationships. Yes, we, yes. Uh, we call for a lot of sensitivity mm. uh, to people who do not have friends, who, mm. who don't have family, people who are not coming from anywhere. Mm. A lot of sensitivity. We are not saying that you don't take them, but just know that if you're taking someone who is not coming from a particular family, mm. who is not attached to any guardianship, mm. you know that you are going to have a number of challenges in your marriage. Sure. Because this person is not accountable to anybody. Oh, wow. In case you have any challenge, who are you going to even address? Mm. You know, if you needed your children to see people of your, your, your partners, who are you going who to? So to? when you take, actually there is a, I've, I've seen a number of cases of people who have married orphans. Mm, I see. And you remember how our prophet was so uh, told that we need to be very sensitive when we are handling mm, orphans. orphans yes. Because orphans are, <laughs> are very, very, very sensitive very people. Sensitive people. So yeah. if you have a partner who doesn't have a family they are coming from, they don't have any uh, now, you are going to walk on eggshells. Mm. You're going to walk on eggshells. And so, so in other words, uh, the parent at that, at that step should uh, just say, my daughter... We call for other stakeholders. Really, there must mm. be us. There must be someone who is going to be our lead for this person. For someone who is going man. to witness for this person. Okay. And we encourage that the closer the people are to your partner, mm. as they are witnessing your nika, the better for the you, better and for the you. more, the better for you. So okay. if you're taking someone who has no background, sure. really, mm. you have someone who doesn't have a, an uncle's, uncle's grandfather's, you know, friend yes, who yes, can yes. come over and. Have them or to you mm. okay you know that uh, our religion now takes it to the imam mm. la at least lastly mm. that let the imam come okay. and you know you stand in for for these people that are supposed to give away this person so wow. as that is why we need to be very sensitive when we are dating when dating. we are courting when we are falling in love in courts you know mm. people love falling in love mm. okay Hajat, we are going to be taking a very short break uh, but uh as we return, we shall be looking at uh, another aspect of the issue of parents' role in the marriage proposal process, inshallah. Eno Ye Salam TV You used to tell me that I don't make you happy All that time you would be complaining me I'll call you every day you can now get all the Chibuzi out with MTN voice bundles. Call all networks Kubei Dondoro buy a 25 minute voice bundle for only 1000 or buy any daily voice bundle of your choice. Dial star 100 star to one hash and select daily or use the My MTN app. When we talk together, we are unstoppable. Everybody grab a bottle and sip some It's Miranda time, flavors and much Tan tingling, thirst quenching and bombastic Oh, sweeter than sweet, bolder than bold Flavors explode, making you go ah Oh, you can test it there's no flavor like Mirinda. Now in a fresh new look with the same great taste. Enjoy the tongue tingling flavor of Mirinda fruity, orange, green apple, and pineapple. Mirinda.
Now, many of us would prefer to use the Cavera when going for shopping or buying whatever stuff you usually buy for home or for your children or for whatever. Now, I would like to advise you. I think it's much better to keep our environment safe by using paper bags or cloth bags. Those are much safer because when we use the Cavera, you throw it around, it could block our drainage and you know in Kampala what happens when it rains. There's a lot of blockages and usually that causes a lot of problems in terms of uh, water all over the city. So that's all we're doing. This message is brought to you by National Environment Management Authority, Kampala Capital City Authority, Vivo Energy, Airco, Pepsi, Stambik Bank and NBS TV. Better steady, be better. Ha, madam, mani koga no kwa de simi ange sema kura. Nenga mwana o kuchiaro gutwa kura na e. Waga ni la dalo kuteleze sukuru eleza sende kuteleze simu yo. Katila inyo yo tuge na jite mako. Tama ni muna ni na enanti mbadhi nko eleza sende kusimu yo by mistake. Muna karanga onesema sto kunyoshuka just fati. Omuunto wa shumele na on primary school. Onorandi rodi. Of course, many of them will come in that direction. I hear obis chokanga wakola ni homeschooling. Boy, your landlord. Most of your landlords are still your parents. But now, in this particular era and season, most of the scammers are doing their best to earn what you have. So, better steady, be better. Mm. Boss, in this steady. Piyuba, in partnership with Uganda Communications Commission, Equity Bank, Momo, United Media, MTN, Stumbig Bank, and NBS. Eno Ye Salam TV. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear viewer, we want to welcome you back from the short break and appreciate you for the time that you have uh, given in to watch this episode of the Adair Show. We are looking at the social system of Islam, where we are looking at matters that we should be very keen at as we are entering the mighty institution. We you looked at the prerequisites, we looked at uh, uh, people going into learning each other, studying each other, they have appreciated each other, and now they have gone to the parents. And at the parents' table we are saying, uh, first thing that our guest has told us is that the parents, you should uh, intentionally pray for this couple, or should you intentionally pray for your daughter, for that to enable them to go through this. Even the male, male side you should also be doing the same because this is something we are going in for that is very important. So both parents, if the proposals have come, we need to pray for the children. Second point noted is we need to provide guidance to the, uh, the, these uh, marriage uh, people to be. And then thirdly, we are looking at some of the nitty gritty, some of the issues that we need to pay attention to. So Hajat, as we are coming back, mm. uh, we have to uh, have three scenarios which I want you to share with our viewers. Uh, the first scenario is where you, we, I, in, I informed you of a case where somebody has uh, perhaps n not so many close relatives. Mm. And uh, based on that, the daughter, sorry, the father of uh, this bride-to-be or the father of the girl, Mm. says uh, because of that I don't think I can trust you with my daughter. Mm -hmm. So in such a case, uh, plus of course some other reasons that can be given. Number one, this boy is, is his uh, financial status is, is not of our it's mm -hmm. not of our level. And in such a way and he's right in such a case. Maybe the other issue could, could given is uh, my daughter is still studying. Mm -hmm. The other issue is my daughter is uh, is is is, is of a high grade. Mm -hmm. Now, in such a case, what should this person do? The one that has trekked all the way from Kampala to Masaka to go and see the parents, and this is the information he's getting. In about two minutes, before we look at the case where outrightly there's the parent saying, uh, uh, based on what I have seen. So the first case is, there are factors, there are reasons that are being given by a parent. Mm -hmm. 
some of which are accepted in the Sharia and others, uh, perhaps the Sharia could give a second. Yeah, <laughs> their emotion. <laughs> but then there are those clear-cut issues where the parent would just say, her, based on the fact that you, I can't give you my daughter. What should now, be the way forward for? There is a very important, there is something under the table here. Yes, please. It is important to go into a family for marriage when you are accepted. Oh. Repeat that again. It is very, very key. Mm. And pray for it, especially people who are looking for marriage, mm. those who have not yet gotten mm. married. Mm. It is important to go into a marriage with a family that has accepted you. Of course, there are people who are important. Yes, yes. Not yes. sisters in laws, not, but especially parents. Parents, yes. It is. Actually, it is written everywhere that they come with blessings. Mm. So you need to package yourselves. You need to package your partner so that they can. So be this is supposed accepted. to be a, a, a responsibility of the two. Of the of the of the of the people who want to get married. That lady should package her. You are supposed to sell husband to be and your the man should also package. Yes, you're supposed to sell your product to your parents. You need to show them that this is the man oh, that I have chosen ah. to leave. With this is the man that he has the qualities he has that don't so fight. First, first talk her through. So the mm. lady should uh, coach him on how to speak, what dress code. What, what do you mean by now? <laughs> packaging no, 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 his no, no, brand. Because, right, <laughs> but at that point, <laughs> at that point, the most of these of the dress code and the, hey. the speech and all that I think have been ticked. Okay, but. In case there is need for extra caution, yes. that the people you're going to talk to, for example, my dad is a judge, like you know, mm. he doesn't want to be answered back and all mm, that. Mm, Maybe mm. that is also necessary. Okay. But we want to believe that most of the the characteristics that you're looking for from a person they are, they have are, all been ticked. Mm. That remember, we said that these parents, this is not a time to teach your children mm, mm. what you were supposed to teach them a long time ago: okay. manners, speech, mm, choice. Mm. You know mm. how to get married and all that. Okay. These are things that we keep singing to our children as they are growing up. So mm. at the time of adulthood, they know most of what they are So this to do. prospective mm -hmm. marriage partner should brand exactly. and make their brand, future spouse brand and, acceptable and, and, even and actually sellable. Even get, get sell. You actually, you, you even it buy should, people to buy, second you. Yeah, you should buy your brother, yes. sister, everyone. You, you know, the this is the guy, around. this is the man. Mm -hmm. I, and you, you people come and love you know love him for me it's important to uh, to assist your family accept mm -hmm. your partner because if they don't he is going to have it a very hard time being with you by the way i want you also to i think hint on the ladies side as well because mm -hmm. when there are some men who also have issues having to explain to their families that and this and, and uh, yeah, yeah, someone who um, he be believes that their love is enough. Mm. Uh, true, your your you know your connection as a couple is very fundamental. Okay. But if your family also falls in love with your partner, it makes this very enjoyable. Very it enjoyable. makes it easy. You know, you have you 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 go to to ceremonies, family functions, and all that, and you will be free mm. and you will enjoy yourselves. But mm. if your family does not has not really, really taken in the quality of person you have brought. Mm. You either will be with him in the outskirts, or you will be coming to functions alone, or mm. you will be hiding him and all that, which is not a good thing for okay. a lifelong commitment. Mm. So it's very key to pray for acceptance from the family. So in such a case, uh, my, my spouse is not accepted. Is there something I can do to to continue enticing mm. the family kind or, yeah. or I just let go mm, you want. know you know all these stages in life mm. are just a sign of what we have learned what we have taken as important mm. so they are their children at this level yes the girl or the boy who have grown up you know taking their father's decision and mother's decision as final as final yes so if your mother says that I think that that man is not going to work for you. Mm. You're like, you know what? Just In good uh, faith, just let go. You just it. let go. Mm. That that is one category of people okay. who are like. So if you, my you, dad. You has need to understand the category of people. Yes. Also. If my okay. dad says, it, I can't add any other thing. Mm. Then we have people uh, who have gotten to an, a second level 
whereby your father is saying this man is not going to take you mm. and you're like um, I, I, daddy I please explain mm. because you know it's adult talk eh? yes you need to give me a found uh, you know a sound reason mm. so that I can be able to really appreciate it and then let go okay. so if the reasons have been availed and they really are sounding you should be very very you know rational to l to think about what you've been told and then you consider the consideration is a personal thing yes someone is really really allowed to continue with the relationship mm. or to stop mm -hmm. because conditions of marriage there is no consent of parent i think the parent is supposed to give out the daughter. The mm. consent that is very key here is the woman's consent. The woman's consent, yes. Yeah. So sometimes the parents might have uh, reasons that are not religious. Uh, sometimes the reasons are emotional. Mm. Sometimes the reasons are not even founded. It could be based on rumamonga, you know, your rumors. It could be based on things that the girl or the man believes they can be able to stand. Or it's, for example, poverty. Um, you know, low levels of education, mm. uh, where the, 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 the culture, where the person is coming from, okay. someone may believe that they can be able to accommodate and continue with this person. But one thing that is very, very important, yes. whatever the parents say, should be taken seriously. Should be taken seriously. Because yeah. at this point, we need all the blessings and of we need parent. all the positive energy. So we have to consider. So you are free to continue you are free to stop. Mm -hmm. Now, stopping is clear. Yes. So it's like we part ways and we part everybody ways and goes. goes back. But then on mm -hmm. the continuance... Uh, before but so for continuation, uh, you, you, you can request for time and you, you again re revisit and re-talk with the parents and mm -hmm. help them really appreciate... But, but on the issue of continuing the, 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 the efforts to have the marriage go on, mm -hmm. There, there's something people usually do is that either they are going to talk to the imam of, of their family mm. or they are going to talk to some elders to convince dad and mom. Do you think do you it is that something that is a good strategy? Or yes, it is. It is yes, it, you let yes. It, family, family, mm. uh, family is not a, a, a nuclear thing in the beginning. Yes. You are supposed to involve as many stakeholders as possible. Oh, it's yes. really, really important so that mm. we can be able to start on a very because firm there's a, a there's a case that mm. is mentioned of where the dad had refused to give out the girl mm. when they talked to hi, his imam. Imam mm. explained to him things in about two weeks is when he accepted, mm. but mm. when the mm. onset he had refused. You know, you know, everybody mm. has, every nut yes. has a, a, something that can crack. Sometimes you're, you may not be able to crack your dad, mm. you may not be able to help your mother understand, yes. but she has a sister who she really, you know, listens to. She has, many families don't have imams, they mm. don't have connections don't have to imams. Mm. But those who have an imam of a family, the imam is really, and we want an imam who has been following family, mm. the family matters. Mm. Not someone just coming in, because we could even bring him yes yeah so we want an imam who is nearly a, a dad of sorts, of sorts to, these, yes. to these people so that when he is guiding he is in the middle and is very positive so we can involve relatives mm. because I remember particularly me I um, I had a similar yes my dad was very hesitant to give me out mm. when I was getting married he was very very hesitant he thought I was still young and mm. all that mm. yes. but I remember I went to his elder brother okay. and I, I told him that there's this case and all that and he was like I'm going to talk to my young brother yes, and yes. they talked and my dad came back to his senses mm. so the more stakeholders the better for us the that best. is why we don't want hidden 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 nika me i'm not for it yes this because, uh, mm. two days i mean is it called after asur mm, bad asur bad, yes bad, bad, uh, you bad, know bad, you yes. know someone comes with just one person and a half mm. and then the other one also has two people there and then uh, really at the end of the day when we have a challenge mm. the people who helped us when we are getting that together to they are the people who are going to us. assist us so in other words your your issue is that uh, the mother stakeholders involved even in the resolution of perhaps conflicts, uh, disagreements that will come better, and, better. And, and you know you are firm when you're in a marriage that has been involved, it has involved everybody, everybody important always. person. You are going to handle each other with a lot of a lot respect. Of respect yes. Because 
if you know my my uncle, you know my jaja, you know mm. my singer, you are probably are going to be ashamed of doing a number of things. I understand. You, you will be you will be very respectful, except people who have gone into families and they they have misbehaved and they're like, mm. ah, I got you from a poor family. <laughs> what are you talking? And 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 all that. Well, but that involving uh, family mm. is a very good thing. So Hajat, as we are winding up, there are two issues that you could hint on. One, there is a case of parents who are totally indifferent. They don't care who you bring. Mm. They, they are those who don't, they just don't give a damn. Actually, sometimes it's because either you have taken long to marry, mm. or <laughs> sometimes you, you're, not the, you're not so special to them, you're not so, so, so mm. a, a valuable person to them. So in such a case, what should the girl or the boy in such a situation do? Where no, the parents don't, don't care. Don't tell your, your partner that your parents don't care. Hey. <laughs> At least you, you, you stay with that. Because if your, your partner knows that where you, the, he's taking you from, hey. they don't really hold you hiding. Yes. It's going to, 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 be, to give you Does a Does Islam have a, 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 a stand point on such kind of parents? But for, we, for for us, but why are you careless when it comes to your, your, your child's you know, marriage? Because it's part <laughs> of you raising your child. Remember, we are going to be accountable for our children. For our children and yeah. at this point, it is probably the peak of their life. Mm. You are supposed to be 100% a hundred and a hundred percent involved, involved in yeah. who they are going to spend the rest of their life with. Mm. So if you are in a lazy fair mode, yes. And you know you don't really care. I don't even know which kind of parents this. Apart from these who who, who have not even paid mahal to the <laughs> mothers of the. You, you understand? You, we, yes. There are you have cases of people who are just peace. waiting to see. Did you get a Did you get a man? Okay. I will mm. come. We shall come and visit you. And so so, you are free. Mm. In such a case, you, you are free to even go to your uncle. Who cares? Who okay, cares? Eh? Mm. As so long as it's a paternal, a paternal member. So, so, so the girl should look out for a, a caring paternal somebody paternal who is going person. to because it is important. It's important. It, ladies, as, as it is really, really important to be taken from a value. You know, you are supposed to start this marriage on a. Actually, I, had a, that a I think to put that in context, mm. yeah, there are cases where you have step uh, parents. Mm. Uh, dad is with their stepmother. Mm. And uh, you have been hustling as a girl child, and then you reach university, and now you're going to this dad, mm. who is the stepmom, don't care whether you get married or not. So that's maybe perhaps that. We have a lot of options. Mm. We really, really have a lot of options. That, that if if your dad was cases. not in your life, mm. How there are people who have been in your life. Like mother? A mother is not and in step this ma thing. Can, can I bring stepdad? A, st a step dad is is not is not supposed to give you away. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, that, that is even complicates the case. Mm. I have step dad. I have no brother. Uh, Jaja is so many kilometers away. Bukoma, see now. Really, what really what happens in such a case? Because I really. <sighs> I, I, uh, that is why me investigation is very key very in relationships. Yes. Because mm. why do you want to take someone who has a disorganized background? Disorganized background. Because it is going to flow, to seep through. It is going to disturb your marriage. Mm. But if it's you are discovering at the last moment, the truth is the, the our religion has clearly identified, you know, clearly highlighted the people who give away a girl. Yes, yes. It is the paternal side. Mm. That Ma is uh, the dad, dad the brother. uncle, the brother, the brothers, or that is their the girl's uncles, mm. the her brother, the brother all right, grandest. and then her son. Her son as the last. But in we are you, talking about a spinster here who is not. A spinster remember. gives herself away. <laughs> <laughs> you sure. know, every, a person who has got, you know that a woman who has married before. Yes, I do. She's she's free to do she's free. Anything, anything as long as she gets her she gets she gets her nikah in order she in gets order. her mahar and so she can put any witness you know which is really why should you give yourself away. No, I think it's some sort of showing that it's not a good place to be. Mm. But a person who has been married before, the next marriage, most of the conditions on um, um, are not um, really binding um, her. So like for she can do, she can bring two friends and maybe even no person. Mm. <laughs> she, 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 it's, it's like you do what you want. Okay. Then uh, mm. how about um, now? We also have cases where somebody has just reverted, mm. uh, especially the girl. And in this case, dad is not a Muslim, brother is not a Muslim, brother is not a Muslim. Hmm. Uh, how do they deal with the parents in such a case? 
Okay. We encourage mm. people who are taking people from other faiths yes. to first and foremost do it formally mm. and do it in the best way because these people are supposed to represent our religion mm. to the other people. Yes. Don't disrespect anybody. Mm. Um, do not take people's children and mistreat them because I am seeing a number of people, you took a girl from the other side mm. and today you're mistreating her because she doesn't pray. Mm. Why didn't you look for the praying girl? Yes. So we formally involve the non-Muslim parents in giving away their children. But if there is conflict, because sometimes the, 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 the parents really don't agree to this yes. engagement, yes. Uh, especially the side, if it's a Christian side or if it's the, the, the side that is feeling that they are taking away their person. Yes. Uh, if they don't want to, to, if they don't want to be involved in this, yes. then the girl has to have purchasing power. You know, I believe that there is an uncle. You the cannot uncle. fail to buy, to to bribe someone from uh, your side. Uh, actually, on that mm. note, uh, the, the the Sharia, you know, last time I uh, invited the Sheikh sometime here, mm. and uh, the 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 ruling was if if this person is from a non-Muslim family, mm. uh, in that case, the male guardian in this case should be the Imam because uh, in the Sharia you the non-Muslim doesn't give out a Muslim mm. and also just like the non-Muslim doesn't inherit or uh, pass over to a Muslim. So I think in that case... You, the, you, the you, you, you want to say that a Christian dad does not give away her daughter? He, would, uh, he should. Perhaps his is to give uh, approval but in terms of uh, the Sharia guidance it has to be either any Muslim scholar who perhaps has appreciated the situation of that case. But it, the issue is mm. uh, that dad, of course, like you said, sh should be treated well to give his approval of the whole one. Uh, appro approval of, of the daughter? Yes, of the uh, whole process. I just call for a lot of respect. Yes. Especially to the parents of your person. Mm. Actually, when I was coming here, I was thinking that if someone does not respect your parents, your parents. Uh, later, leave alone not respecting their parents because people who are undressing for each other mm. uh, before marriage, it is a, the biggest sign of disrespect to your parents. To your parents. So if someone is disrespecting their parents or they are disrespecting your parents, yes. you should demand, you should not demand respect in your marriage. In your marriage as because well. it is very impossible for someone to <sighs> respect you if they don't respect your parents. So okay. respect is very important. Okay, Hajat, we, we know the discussion can always uh, continue and continue and continue, but suffice to note is the fact that uh, the parents are very key in the marriage proposal process. Mm, mm. Their input, their guidance, their prayers, their blessings are so much sought after. So if you must go for this marriage, then there's nothing like you missing out on the parental involvement in the whole process. So to the ladies, uh, especially Muslim ladies, yours is very strict. The Sharia does not allow you to go in for any marriage unless there has been an approval by the male guardian who should actually be one of the key pillars of the marriage to give you out in the process. The male uh, spouse to be, you also have a duty to ensure that you involve all the different stakeholders on your side to ensure that uh, in future if there are disagreements, there are issues that need to be uh, looked into you have people to give you cover and support. Um, I want to thank you for being a wonderful audience always. Uh, this show can always be got as a recap on this Salam YouTube page. You type uh, Al Hidayah, then a marriage, you will be getting the different episodes. Remember also today is a Thursday. Those that are fasting will ask Allah to reward you. Those that have uh, uh, the sick, we pray that Allah heals your sick. Those that have lost loved ones, we pray that Allah comforts you. Those that have issues that are not going well in their lives, we pray that Allah suffices for you. And then pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes us better and better based on the information that we keep sharing. I want to thank very much those that uh, supported this. Uh, the control room, the camera people appreciate your 
uh, effort in this and pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts and rewards you abundantly. Inshallah, we shall be stopping here and then we'll be seeing what will come up the next week. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Adhan, nge kutusi wako. Hotel Africana.